An outside lane, hanging tough here on the restart. Oh, here oh, we, we go. Got trouble. That's Casey Kane to go sideways. Joey Logano nowhere to go. Oh, my. Clint Boyer the field for the grass. Gone. The big one at Daytona has happened at lap 97. That is the huge one at Daytona. Justin Allgaier. Oh, the he gets on its roof. And Kyle Busch rolls upside down. Wow. It looks like the 16 got into the 5 a little bit too hard and just turned him. And man, what talk about getting piled up. Watch the three car when we get another replay of Austin Dillon come shooting up through the middle and trying and to avoid the accident. 26 of Cole Witt just got into the 18 to turn him over. Man, this is not good for Kyle Busch because of that downforce, that right front fender damage. He didn't need this to happen. So Joey Logano. Oh, they're going to crash along the front straightaway, including Stenhouse in 62 of Brendan Gaughan, the 15 of Michael Lynette. So the caution comes out again. Oh, no, It'll be our 10th. Man, look at all the damage and you got right here. This car's been upside down. This is Joe Nimmer. Take a look. Boy, holy cow. He was Joe's upside car. down. Yeah, yeah, that car definitely. Whenever you can see the roof flaps, take a look. Here we go. Okay, he's looking inside of Mike Ooh. Lynette, and this wreck happens in front of them. There is the 16. He's already turned around. That all happened in front. Now, where's Joe Nemechek? Oh, 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 right there. Gosh. Who got in? And, and it was the 16 with an Stenhouse. Yeah. Gracious. He ends up going over. Take another look. Oh. oh. Okay, does that qualify or anything's going to get crazy? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I think that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Briscoe got him into the back of Suarez, and he gets pounded. Dang it. Oh, yeah. up Busher's and upside down. I think he hooked a drain. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, if, if, if you're Chris Buescher in that position, and you we've seen a lot of cars slide through the infield, the last thing you think is going to happen is that you're going to flip. I, that was the last thing he thought was going to happen. But I, I'm with Clint, and it almost appears that that impact from Suarez Watch it spins around right here. You see the right suspension. front. See oh, it flip right over? There. Yeah. Dug in. Upper A-frame was broke, and as soon as it rolled underneath the car, it dug in and sent that thing a flipping. Wow. What a ride. A lot of work went into the safety of these race cars. See him crawl out of that thing. Hats off to everybody involved in that. Jimmy Spencer was the first car lined up oh. on the inside. Couldn't get a lap back. Oh, trouble down here. Who is that? Is that the 26 or It is. Amick. Oh, no. Oh, a, a car, car just turned down. down. One car just turned over. It's upside down on the back straightaway. It's Michael. Holy oh, cow. What is he doing? He slammed into Amick, like Michael. Darrell, and that flip turned the car right over. Look at how he hit him with the right front. Well, he needs to get out of there. See the 26 car get around right there. And everybody's trying to crowd down to the bottom. Knowing he's going to go to the bottom of the right. racetrack. The 54 car. Yeah, Kevin Grubb. Kevin is Grubb. So is Casey Kane. Yates's car. Casey Kane, 98. So Terry Labonte is Whoa. Oh, and Derry Cope has gone in up over the tire barrier, up over a bank. The finger hunt Ford. Oh my goodness. That is a wild ride. Let's see what happens. Well, it was side by side with John Krebs. Oh, John oh. Krebs goes wow. Oh, yeah. Out through there in front of Derek Cope. And the car overturned several times. So our concern isn't about Derek Cope. He's okay. Our concern is John Krebs. And he did not come close to a spectator area. They were well separated from the area that Krebs landed in. And Kurt Busch trying to move to the inside and take that spot away and take the lead away from Newman, but Newman will have nothing of it. No, oh, got trouble getting into three, guys. Joey Logano. Big crash. Oh, he's oh, upside no. down. Over and over, Logano goes between three and four. Oh, no. The car will come back to rest on all four tires. 
heavy, heavy crash here on lap 32. Really just kind of a stack up effect. Like was one of them got on the brakes and it's kind of forced. Yeah, look at Tony Stewart just missing this crash, man. Here's where it really gets gets exciting. Man, we talked about that there's nowhere to go as you come off of these corners and when something like this happens, you you really have you make a commitment and you've got one opportunity really to miss this wreck. You see the restart here. Watch. Hey guys, Sister. hold on. We got a big accident in turn number 4. Truck upside down. Kelly Sutton having some problems. Getting spun around, excuse me, not upside down, spun around. <laughs> she was definitely upside down. You can see the damage to the roof of, that, of, of that truck. Looks like the Ford truck gets a little sideways. He might have made a slight bit of contact with the 10, with the 10 of Terry Cook. We see Kelly Sutton probably going to come along here with nowhere to go. You oh. see he made some hard contact with the left front of Chris Fontaine's, and that sent her up into the outside wall, and somehow her truck got upside down. Let's see if we can take another look at it. Watch the four truck. Kelly Sutton's going to come along and clip her. She was out of out of control a little bit coming in there. You could see that she was just trying to recorrect when right. she got into that four. Yeah, she was sideways. She had lost control coming in. You can see the radiator leaking there, but you're right. It flipped back over when it hit the apron. It's like, oh, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Like Moore said, got into the six car. David Reagan. Oh, my goodness. That's a hard lick for David Reagan. This, oh, my goodness. fellows also into the wall in that the most respected racing team in stock car racing the wood brothers took one of their own a virginian to drive for them elliot sadler elliot's with me now and i'm sure you've heard the story since yesterday of one of the most dramatic incidents of the 2000 season to date in turn one yesterday afternoon half hour left in the final practice you're riding with elliot sadler there's the tire blowing there's the first time over, second, third. How many times did you go over, Elliot? I think we ended up 12 times before it uh, was all said and done. It's uh, definitely the scariest time of my life, but I tell you what, the Wood Brothers built me a great race car as far as being safe. NASCAR did a great job on the specs, and uh, I'm just happy to be here with you fine people today. <laughs> well, we're awfully glad to have you with us. The last click off. We might also tell you that the 37 car of Jeremy Mayfield. Oh my goodness, we're going through. Big crash of car upside down here on the main straightaway. Uh, keep going, keep going, it's here, keep going. Green, I believe. And the, the, the track looks to be blocked, well, there is one lane, the cars aren't going by there. There's Brett Monon's involved. I think the 21 car of Michael Walker maybe taps the 36. Let's roll it forward now, and you see he's a little bit crossways, and all of a sudden he just shoots right back up into David Green. So that's an indication that maybe he got tapped. Michael might have got tapped from the rear, so just one of those chain reaction type deals. Good point, Ned. I did not see the 21 car before when I saw the 36 going sideways. Mm. That's right David up. Green sliding along on the side, and when the car stops, goes back on the wheels. Crocker, the six car, did not get off to a particularly good start. She's on the bottom of the racetrack, just can't move that car up, and cars are just going by on the outside. Great train in there. And she lost about 10 spots. Oh, we got trouble coming off of two already. Matt Kenseth is around a hard hit. Kenseth took a hard hit. Oh, oh got the car on the head. Donnie Nuremberg in 52 goes tumbling down the backstretch and then in the inside wall. Solder involved in it. There is nowhere to hide when trouble breaks out here. If you're behind it, you're probably going to be in it. Johnny Sauter goes to the bottom of the racetrack, and that turned out to be exactly the wrong place to be. Look at Neuenberger just flipping over the back of... Let's see what car that is. 
boy, John Wood Tim did a Sauter. good job getting through there. I don't think John got much damage, but here are all these, guard, these cars. They see what's happening. The 21 gets turned. Michael Jeff Waltrip Burton. into the wall. Yep. You know, one of the things that I uh, picked up on in some of the interviews we did from Denny Hamlin talking about the Toyota engine, apparently some of that valve train problems they were having at Daytona carried over to the unrestricted engine, and they've had to back way, Trouble way off. Two. Casey Mears, ooh, gets tagged And nowhere hard. for Dale Earnhardt Jr. to go in that 88 car. Two more cars hard in the wall behind them. One is Hornish. Someone has run underneath the five car, it looks the like. The other's Reed Sorensen, and Mears ends up on his roof. It's Hornish. Sam Hornish in the 77, because I knew the car just picked up off the ground all yeah. of a sudden. I didn't even, you couldn't even see Hornish from our uh, angle. He's up high, and he just loses it there. Comes down right. Just clipped Dell Earnhardt Jr. Got to him around. But now this is when it really is bizarre. Watch, watch this. Hornish already had damage, and the hood was up so he could, high he couldn't see out couldn't of the windshield, see. I don't think. Now watch Junior in the 88 come into this. Ooh. Get clipped, knocking the right side sheet metal off and banging the left side. 